Hey guys, today I wanted to do a quick video on how to remove the ground neutral bond screw in the Voltronic 6500 watt inverters. So that would include the MPP version, the LV6548, Sun Gold, Orient Power, and the earlier version of the EG4s, although the later version comes without the screw. So I'm assuming you've already determined whether or not you need to remove the screw by research, so I won't get into that at all. I will say don't be intimidated by it. It's not that bad. Uh, I first contacted Ian at Watts 24-7 when I realized I needed to remove mine. And I mentioned it might be like open heart surgery. And he said it's more like clipping a toenail. <laughs> so it's really not that difficult. We'll get into that in just a second. Before we do, I wanted to mention that I've already removed my screws. So you won't actually see me thread the uh, screw out and take it out, but you'll get the point. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, easy to see once you're in there. And if you're doing this after the fact, if you've already hooked the inverters up and they're hooked to solar, they're hooked to battery, anything, make sure everything's disconnected, everything's off, and let the capacitors empty out for 30 minutes or more before you start operating on the machine. So yep, it's not that bad. I'll get started here with you in just a second. So make sure you've got a clear area around the unit. And then basically you're gonna be removing all black screws. If you're removing any silver screws, then you're doing something wrong. So three here, two on the sides, four on the top, two on the other side. So very, uh, very simple to get the cover off. Don't be intimidated by this. Like I said, when you remove the cover, the biggest thing to pay attention to is there is a power supply to the LED bar. So you don't want to stretch that and just rip it off. And you want to be careful with these wires. So let's get started. So let's pop it off. This may be dusty. Oh, not too bad. And you're gonna you can usually prop it just to the side. So you don't want to you don't want to flex that cable too much that goes to the LED. And then the grounding screw is gonna be right behind this circuit. So looking at the unit from the inside, right on the other side of this center circuit board is going to be the hole down there where the screw is. This circuit board can stay. If it makes you feel more comfortable, you can remove it uh, with these different screws and nuts. Otherwise, I never did. I've done uh, quite a few of these now. So you can uh, get the screwdriver in there just like that and take it out. That's it. So very simple. Then you're just going to work on replacing the lid and tightening everything up. So you will carefully make sure you've got all this, these wires pulled back through and you're going to go under that silver piece there. You do not want to go over it. It's going to tuck gently under it there. Put all your screws back in. That's it. All right, well, I hope that helped out. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave the comments below and I'll help if I can. Thanks for watching.